Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Hey, BB babe, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I style my jumbo bun. And I'm also going to be showing you guys a cute Valentine's Day makeup look. So if you are interested in this video, just keep on watching. All right, you guys. So what you're going to need for your jumbo bun is you're going to need a base to make your bun. And these are just some socks that I use to make it into a bun. You're also going to need a string or like some type of hair tie for your choice. And... You're also gonna need a spray bottle so you can spray your hair. Moisturizer of your choice. I'm using the Apple G Balancing Moisturizer. And you're gonna need a gel of your choice. I'm using the Edge Booster Pomade and the Lemon Berry Scent. And you're also going to need a soft brush to brush your edges. And you're going to need an angling brush. And you're also going to need an edge brush. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, I normally spray my hair around with my aloe vera juice. And I also have an Apple leave-in vitamin liquid conditioner in here. And I just spray that around my hair. And then, I just work it in my hair. And I just brush this out. Detangle certain parts with my detangling brush. And then you're going to take your string and you're going to pull it up. You're going to tie it first. Sorry, like this. And then you're gonna pull it up. Now this part, it doesn't have to be super duper tight because at this point, you're just making the base of your bun. So I'm not gonna tie that part this tight. So, as you can see, you got all these hairs spread out at the ends. Go in the middle. You're going to take a piece of your hair, a little bit of your hair, brush it out. And you're also going to need ponytail holders. You're going to take that ponytail holder in the middle. This doesn't have to be the neatest either. It's just to make the base for your bun. I'm going to set that in the middle. It should look like this and you should have all your hair around it. Then you're going to take your bun. You're going to push that little ponytail that you made through. And then you're going to take this hair around it. You can use your brush as well. Flatten it down. You're going to take another ponytail holder. You're just going to wrap it around that bun. And it should basically look like this in the middle of your head. So next, take this one around your head. And now, this is where you're going to need your gel. So I'm going to take a little bit of my edge booster, put it in my hands, and I'm going to take this and put this all around the perimeter of my hair. Actually, while you're doing that, you're going to take 
the outside part of your hair that you're going to use to form the bun. Let me scoot back so y'all can see. And you're going to take it, put it up like this, so it'll be out the way. And you can see what you're doing when you're slicking down your hair. So now I'm just taking my soft brush and slicking my hair down. So now you're going to take that same shoelace, going to tie it like that's I did before. Now this part, you want to make your string as tight as possible because at this point we want the bun to be as sleek as possible. And you can wrap it around however many times you like. Take that out and then tuck those ties in. And once you finish that, you are going to take your scarf and wrap that around your hair. Personally, I like to use two scarves because I feel like it lays my hair better. So I'm gonna use a regular scarf and then I'm gonna take my satin scarf and I'm gonna pull it around my hair and do the same thing. So it'll cover the back. Okay, so now we're gonna take this top part out. You can either comb it up or down. And you can comb it out first to where you can see the bun and your hair could be all stretched. Then you take a little bit of your moisturizer. My hair is already kind of moisturized because I have my hair in this style for a couple of days now, so I'm not gonna use a lot. It's gonna go around and moisturize each section so it'll lay a little better. Take that time to brush the back out a little bit more. Brush out the front so it'll be all stretched out. Now this is where we are going to make the bun. So I'm gonna take a piece of hair, just gonna wrap it around like this, pull it up, and then a bobby pin it. At the top, as such. Then I'm just gonna do this all around with the rest of the sections. Okay, so now we got the base of the bun made and now I'm just kind of going to go around and like fix it. Sometimes you just got to play around with it until it's like fixed to your liking. So some of these pieces I may have to redo over. What I like to do too is I like to tuck it in the middle of the bun because my hair is kind of long. And then pin it. And that makes it a lot easier to, oh, to form the bun as well. Then once you're finished pinning it up, you can pull and adjust to the way you like your bun. Scrunch it together. Put where you need to put more bobby pins at to have it laid the way you want it to be. That is it for the bun part. I'm gonna put my bonnet on and then we're gonna start doing our makeup. All right, you guys, so I pretty much primed off camera. I use my primer that I always use and that's the one size secure the blonde primer. Now I'm just gonna go in with my color corrector 
and I'm just basically going to color correct my face. size foundation it is in the color dark one i believe it's the same matte foundation i've used before and it's just on this little makeup thing and i'm gonna go ahead and apply that on my face I'm just going to go in with my brows. I'm going to be using the Morphe Brow Prince Pencil and Chocolate Mousse today. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Juvia's Place Concealer in the color 16. And I'm going to shape my under brows and set my lid for my eyeshadow. Radiance Contour Palette in medium to deep and I am going to be using this contour shade right here and I'm going to be using my blending brush and I'm going to blend that out on my lid. <laughs> Morphe palette and I'm going to take this black shade and I'm going to make a small little liner with this black eyeshadow and this angle brush. <laughs> concealer by one size this is in the shade medium dark one and I'm going to go under my eyes again to make sure I have a brighter under eye look <laughs> translucent powder and I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to set under my under eyes and everywhere else that I highlighted. Now I'm going to go with my Juvia's Place bronzer and I'm going to use this black brush to contour my face. Then after that I'm going to use my one size contour palette and I'm going to use the end of this brush and I'm going to set my contour. powder and I'm going to set my whole entire face. <laughs> now I'm going to go on with my one size cheek clapper brush and this is in the color attention seeker and I'm going to set my cheek pump, cheekbones with my blush then I'm going to go in with my highlighter. <laughs> you guys 
right, so now I'm gonna get ready to put on my lashes. And I'm using the green dual lash glue. And I'm using the lashes from my line. My line of lashes is called J. Michelle Beauty. I believe these are the lashes confident. <music> are going to do a classic red lip today this is the only different thing that i'm going to be doing today my makeup is a red lip i'm going to do like an ombre kind of type of red lip so first i'm going to take a dark brown liner you can also take a black liner however i don't like doing black liner because my lips are light and i'm really light and it makes me look like my lips are black so i like to use a really dark brown liner Got to tell y'all the lip liner, but this is the MAC lip liner. This is in chestnut. And I'm gonna go over it with this first. And then I'm gonna go on with another like dark red lipstick and go over that. And then I'm gonna actually go on with my red lip. lipstick this is in blood moon and this is like a burgundy red and i'm gonna go around that lip liner and sometimes you may get a little lipstick on your outer corner sometimes if that happens you just take a little bit of your concealer or foundation and go over it and then it should fix it So now I'm gonna go on with my Mary Kay lipstick. It's in the color Rouge Roma. Well, I'm sorry, Red Roma. And this is the lighter red lipstick. And I'm gonna go in the middle. And then that is it for my red liner, for my red lipstick. This is how I like to do my ombre red lip. And what you can also do too, if you wanna just add a little bit more depth into it, go over with your brown and add a little bit more. Now I am about to lay my edges. I forgot to do it earlier. So this is the final look. Let you guys have a close up. This is our latest lay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, beauty babes.